Hey guys, Silent Sale here. Welcome back to another Ultra Macross Gacha videos. So hopefully you guys have been paying attention to the last two videos, uh, especially when we talk about the brand new stamp rally that's been going on. If you can see from the banner that's been scrolling along. And hopefully you guys have actually gotten yourself three stamps already, just like I have. If you missed out on the first day, I do apologize, but like I did mention in my last few videos, I highly recommend you guys to follow me on Instagram. Um, please do so, especially if you don't want to miss out on information such as this kind of events, um, where you can actually win free stuff just by being, you know, religiously um, playing the game, logging in, making the stamp on the card. You know, so that you can win a thousand singing stones or whatever gifts they are actually giving out. Um, and if you are living in Japan, well, you can actually stand a chance to win a concert ticket uh, for the upcoming Macross Frontier Galaxy Live 2021 Revenge Edition. So yes, guys, make sure you do follow me up on Instagram. I, I appreciate those who have recently followed me there. Um, the two of you. <laughs> yes, not many of you guys are following, but at least some, some of you are taking heed to the notifications and updates that I've been um, presenting in the last few gacha videos. So yes, let's dive into the gacha page itself and let's take a look at Cheryl Noom's brand new episode plate for her school uniform that uh, technically she's not studying in. <laughs> yes, if you guys didn't know, Cheryl Noom doesn't study in the same school as Ranka and the rest of the crew who are actually studying there. She just happens to like own a set of the school uniform because she wanted to infiltrate it to talk to Elto. <laughs> but okay, anyways, um, aside from that, let's take a look at the episode plate itself. So as you can tell from the highlighted diva images, uh, sadly to say this episode is one of those episode plates that can only be used by the featured diva. So that's kind of a bummer when it's, um, whenever there's like uh, the exclusive um, diva improvement events um, which we are currently going through. Uh, it's not gonna help. <laughs> so I guess they really want us Utah Macross players that don't really stand Cheryl Gnome to make use of her to try and improve her um, diva affection levels, her diva proficiencies, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, just to utilize her to maybe try and, uh, you know, build some kind of uh, bond with her because, she, you know, uh, each of the individual divas have their own special uh, I guess uniqueness. Some of them are better at soul songs, voice songs, so on and so forth. And of course, the variety of episode plays that the divas can use also technically help us with high score achievements, especially for those that allow us to use three different um, divas in the team setup. You know. All right. So taking a look at the total score for the plus twenty five value of the episode play, it's three thousand seven hundred and sixty three. Not the best. Pretty much on par with Ranka's episode plate, and of course it focuses more on charm and a bit on soul, and of course voice suffers the stat drop. So yeah, center skill charm up. So pretty much the same as Ranka's episode plate. It gives the ninety percent boost on the unit's charm, so it just focuses on a particular character only. So yeah. I guess this center skill is definitely beneficial for the current event. Uh, that is, if you're Cheryl Stan. All right, moving along. Active skill with life recovery at thirty percent. So it's pretty much the same as Ranka's, um, except for the fact that the um, life skill is different, though. So this is the Utahime score and damage level five version. Um, so why is it Utahime score and damage? Because well, the episode plate can only be used by Cheryl. So, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. But it does boost a lot more percentage than the usual. Normally, the highest we probably see is like 110%, especially with the recent um, fold score up uh, life skill that, you know, Ranka's episode play has compared to Cheryl's. So, 120% is definitely a very good thing for when it comes to high score achievement. Um, so if you have Cheryl in your D.Va setup and you have this episode play, it's definitely going to help you out a lot. And do pay attention that this skill can be boosted by short duration improvement skills. Um, so that's fantastic overall. So let's take a look at the last page and see if this episode play is actually way better than it should be. And sadly to say, no special notes attached to it. So it's 
pretty okay. So if you're wondering what this total score on the episode play is without the plus 25 luck value is, well according to Utah Macross Wiki, it's 3513, which is 3 points higher than Ranka's episode play. Um, so it's, like I said, it's not the best out of all the 6 star episode plates because um, 6 star episode plates without the total luck value we've seen some that has gone up to like the 3600 and above so is this a must get? not really but like I said since Cheryl's episode plate is kind of or rather her costume is locked behind this gacha wall so if you're planning to try to gain the costume, the bare minimum you should try and get is maybe, well, episode plates with costume points on it or even those, you know, uh, special plates that only have costume points. So that's really the bare minimum. Um, you know, like I said, um, as usual, you know, if you guys are Sharon Gnome fans, there's no doubt about it, you should definitely try to attain your waifu's episode plate. And I emphasize on try as always because I don't want you guys to waste your money. Um, considering the fact that the last video we did talk about the brand new Step Up Gacha style. So, uh, you know, saving singing stones has never been more important now than ever. So, yeah. So, let's do this as usual. Um, we'll pull single pulls. Then, of course, we can do the Super Dimension Gacha if we need to. But, you know, the last video we did check up on the expiration on some of the tickets. It seems like we could delay, um, well, up to the next 7 star featured gacha video. Uh, so yeah. Alright, so no Valkyrie animations on the, sing uh, the free single pool. That's to be expected. So, actually I'm expecting a dry spell of luck for another month <laughs> at least. Considering how lucky we have been for August and of course the first week of September. Hmm. So yeah, one other thing we need to talk about um, regarding the month of October. Um, so if you guys actually did follow me on Instagram and if you just recently followed and you scrolled through some of the information that recently I've been updating, Utah Macross actually tweeted out um, on the day that all the Macross Delta and the Frontier trailers released um, during the Air Valkyrie Live that we recently had um, they did announce that the upcoming event which is the month of October the first event is going to be featuring the brand new song for the upcoming Macross Delta movies so hopefully you guys are excited for that so we, we know for a fact now that the next song or rather the next event song for the ticketing event is going to be that. So yeah. Alright, so let's move along with the... Oh, I don't have any more free daily pools for this time period. That's fine. So let's just double check the Super Dimension tickets on the 2nd of October. Yeah, we can keep it for the 7 star gacha pool. So I do have Singing Stones on hand. Uh, like I said, I was planning to save up for maybe a future waifu step up gacha like what Min Mei has right now. Um, but I do really want to try and pull out Makina's Mirai on costume, so I'm gonna go do that. So <laughs> let's do Cheryl's first, because if I want to have the bad luck flushed out, I would rather have it on Cheryl's gacha because to me personally, I'm not a big fan of Cheryl. I'm so sorry, Cheryl fans, but you know. So I would like to try and focus the luck on Makina's gacha. So like I said, bare minimum for this gacha I'm expecting is just costume points. So here we go. Ooh, we're getting some loading there. Hmm. Okay. Okay, five Valkyries and a golden orb animation. Oh, rainbow box on the first blink. Okay, so it seems like... Oh, it evolves! Okay, it is a Sharon Gnome episode plate, but it's not the featured one. So, I mean, getting a 5 star, you should always be grateful, especially um, you know, if you're trying to get a plus 25 luck value on any 5 star episode plate. And there it is, the co costume point episode plate. Bare minimum has been met. I'm pretty happy. 
Alright, let's keep this going. Alright, more costume points. That's fantastic. Okay. Ooh, here's the... Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh no. Oh! <laughs> I'm very happy because I do not have this episode play. So it brings Basara closer to completing his collection of 6 stars. So, ooh, fantastic, fantastic stuff. Okay, so this is awesome. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a 6 star episode plate, but I'll gladly accept it. Brings me closer to, you know, completing most of the current release 6 star. But now I'm a bit worried about pulling Makina's Kacha. <laughs> Should I be pulling it or not? Oh god. Okay, so we have the bare minimum for the featured gacha and of course we got a brand new 6 star episode play unlocked. So that's fantastic. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm very worried about Makina's Kacha now. Oh god. <laughs> I'm still gonna do it though because it's the last chance. Um, for for the current feature, you know, six star, seven star, please. Okay, so here we go. My last chance at Maki Maki's Mirayon costume. I don't know. With the recent luck we just had in the last pool, I'm very doubtful. But you know, we gotta try. We gotta try. Here we go. All right, we get some load there as well. It isn't as long as the last one, so. Okay, alright, so we got the mediocre luck. Alright, single red box on the first bling. Ooh, rainbow box, that's nice. No evolution for the red box, seems like it's following the last pool's pattern. The red box for appearing on the first pool, that's kind of worrying. Okay, <laughs> my lane is looking grumpy. That's not good, even Miraj is looking, looking grumpy. <laughs> I don't like that face. Oh god, what is going on with this gacha pool? All the facial reactions is making me nervous. Oh no, and the ominous Ray Ray episode plate. <laughs> Here we go, the rainbow box. Oh, it didn't evolve. And it's an old episode plate for Maki Ray. That's, that's okay. I mean, it's getting closer to a higher plus luck value. Alright, so there goes my try at Maki Maki's 6 star costume um, I guess that's it guys I'm gonna have to try and attain Makina's Mirai On costume in the future uh, hopefully by the time the last Mirai On costume is released for the Valkyrie ladies um, there's only two more divas to get their costumes so I don't know I'm a bit worried because it's it's a full Oh, it's a full set of 7 star episode plates for the Mirayon song. Oh, that's just not kind to the wallet at all. Curse you, Dana! <laughs> Why do you do this to us and our poor wallets? So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode of Utah Macross Gacha videos. I apologize for the last two, um, well, moody episodes. Uh, you know, you know, stuff that's going on with me and... Um, yeah, I appreciate those who have been trying to cheer me up, you know, and all that stuff. And, you know, I, I love you guys. So, thank you guys so much for always supporting me in all the videos. Uh, leaving likes, commenting below. And I love to hear more from you, uh, aside from those who usually comment down below. And yeah, even though if you're Japanese, I'm, I hope you can understand me in English. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I hope you see you guys as well on the Instagram page and I'll see you guys soon. Right after you hit like, share, subscribe, you know, the usual stuff. Do that, do that. Cheers me up whenever I see you guys do it. Bye!